Arithmetic Grade students. Hi, today we will learn a very important lesson and that is how to form questions using how long. Let's start together. Now, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify present perfect tense and to form correct questions using how long. Why do we have to remember the present perfect tense because usually when we ask questions using how long we use the present perfect tense let's start now let's remember when do we use the present perfect tense and what's the form of the present perfect tense as you know we use the present perfect to talk about actions which started in the past and continue to have an effect in the present the action has finished but its effect is still on the present time now let's learn how do we form the present perfect tense as you know when we want to form the present perfect tense we use has or have plus verb 3 using has or have depends on the subject if I have a singular subject I usually use has if I have a plural subject I use have so we have a subject has or have plus verb 3 or the past participle of the verb as you know we have verb 1 verb 2 and the verb 3 today with the present perfect we use verb 3 example she has written an essay she is the subject has because we have a singular subject written is verb 3 and we complete the sentence we have also another example he has just completed the race excellent notice how he is about to reach the end of the race and that he is tired the effect of the race is still on that person now, how do we form questions using the present perfect and using how long? You know that how long is used to ask about the period of time. How long? We want to know the period of time that something has taken. Let's start to learn how we form questions using how long. First of all, you should use the word question and that is how long long then we use has if the subject is she he or it always remember if the subject is singular he she or it you should use has and after that we should put verb 3 and the verb 3 from be is being and you Continue the question and always remember to put a question mark at the end of the question. Now let's look at have. If I have you, they, we and I, we should use have. How long have you? How long have they? How long have we? And how long have I? And after that, of course, we use verb 3 of the verb the past participle watched how long have you watched tv and always remember to put the question mark so let's form questions using these helping words how long has he been in palestine how long have we watched tv Notice that in these questions, we are asking about the period of time. How long? Now let's answer the question. When we answer a question that starts with how long, we either use since or for. These two keywords help us to know the period of time. But do they have the same meaning? Let's see. We use since if we want to express the starting time. If you know when the action has started, you use since. Like since yesterday, since 
5 a.m. since 2018 or any year since last week. Note that since shows us the starting of time. Now, if you want to express the period or the length of time we use for for two days, for five hours, for a week. I haven't seen my parents for five hours. I haven't seen my parents since 5 a.m. So both since and for are used to express the period or the time, but since shows us the starting time, while for it expresses the period of time. Excellent. Now let's practice. We have an example. Here the boy is playing the guitar. He started playing the guitar in 2019. Now let's practice. We have the boy. The boy is playing the guitar. Now we will know about the boy how long how long have you played the guitar we ask this boy how long have you played the guitar we want to know the period he answers i have played the guitar since 2019 he can also say that i have played the guitar for three years excellent so, with 2019, we should use since. With three years, we use for excellent students. Now, let's look at another example. Here, this man works as a detective. You know what detective means? It means the man or a woman who works to find the crime, the criminal who killed someone, who stole the money. This is a detective. He works with the police. Now, this boy works as a detective. We have two time expressions. We have 2001 and we have 20 years. Let's ask him how long has he worked as a detective how long has he worked as a detective we can have two answers we can say he has worked as a detective since 2001 or we can say he has worked as a detective for 20 years excellent now let's play and practice together I want you to choose the correct answer. I have lived in America two years. What do you think? Since or for? Right? The answer is for. I have lived in America for two years. Now let's move to the next question. In this question, you have to put the words in the correct order to form a question. Now, we learned that when we form a question using how long, we should put how long at the beginning of the question, then we put has or have, depending on the subject that follows, then the subject and verb three, and then we complete the question and put a question mark at the end. Now, let's see the words that we have. A chef, she, been, how long, has. Let's organize the words and order them to have a well-written question. Let's start. The first expression or word that we start with is how long, excellent. And then has she been a chef? How long has she been a chef? Excellent. Now, let's sum up what we have learned in this lesson. In this lesson, we have learned how to use how long to ask questions about the period of time. We said that usually we use how long with the present perfect. And that when we ask with how long, we answer with 
since or for depending on the time expression that we have. I hope that you have enjoyed this lesson and that you have learned a lot. Thank you. أعزائي الطلبة إذا رغبتم بمشاهدة هذا الفيديو التعليمي لمرات عديدة بإمكانكم الدخول إليه عبر الرابط أو الكود اللذان يظهران أسفل هذه الشاشة شكرا لمتابعتكم